This is one on one session with the Forum IS founder and director Ayush Sinha. In this session, students are asked questions to test their preparedness for the personality test. One on one sessions are not mock panel sessions. So you are from Burhanpur. Sir, I was born in Burhanpur. Burhanpur in Madhyapur. Originally from? Uh, sir, I have spent most of my life in Rajasthan. In Rajasthan. Yes, sir. You like to read and watch stories. Yes, sir. To books, movies, and YouTube. Yes, sir. All right. What is the last few books that you have read, Shoy? Sir, uh, after my mains, I was reading two books simultaneously. Uh, one was The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. And the second one was uh, "Light at the End of the Tunnel" by Ibrahim De Tversky. Light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, sir. What does this phrase mean? Light at the end of the tunnel. Sir, the idea behind this phrase is that uh, when you go into certain phase of life, hmm. you always uh, think that you might not come out, or there is no hope at the end of that period. But uh, light at the end of the tunnel is something which says that if you go through that phase, you might come out. Uh, to a brighter future. What YouTube channels do you follow for stories, following stories? Sir, uh, most of it is random. Sometimes I follow uh, TED Ed. TED Ed. Yes. What does TED stand for? Sir, I am not sure about that. TED Talks are there, isn't yes, it? Yes. So TED Ed. What is? You're not aware what TED is? No, sir, I'm not aware. T E D. You are a mental health health listener on Seven Cups. Yes. What is the Seven Cups? Sir, so Seven Cups is a community platform for mental health listening. It's uh, based on the idea of active listening, which is one of the theory, uh, therapies of psychoanalysis. It says that uh, just by listening to some people, you can help mental health support. All right. So mental health, because you listen to some other person's issues, or you listen it for your own better mental health. Sir, so both. I think uh, that when I went there, I went for my own betterment. But I also listen to people who Seven are. Seven Cups is an app, or is it a real platform, as in where you meet with people? Uh, no, sir. It's a online platform. It's uh, also available in the form of an app. Uh, it also partners uh, partnerships with various universities, uh, psychoanalysts, physiotherapists, and people who are suffering from mental health have also have a community there. You have been part of Desh Ke Mentor program by the Delhi government. Yes, sir. What is the difference between mentorship and teaching? Sir, uh, mentorship is more holistic in nature, where you guide a person towards a certain path, and teaching is basically understanding and passing on knowledge. Any other difference? Sir, uh, mentorship is, I think, uh, also advises on day-to-day -day life. Activities. If you are suffering from anything, that also is included in mental health. While teaching is more in general about knowledge. Mentorship is it one to many or usually it is one to one conversation? So it's one to one usually. And teaching is usually one to many, sir. All right. The Delhi government often falls out with the left hand governor. Yes, sir. What is the reason behind it? Article three sixty five. says that uh, <coughs> center has the duty that every state and ut should be run according to the constitution and the governor usually uh, uses that article to see that if if everything in the state has been run according what to the constitution what is the root cause behind this tussle between the governor and the chief minister everywhere there are challenges with the governor versus the cm first okay first tell me what is the difference between the position of the governor versus the lg there is a difference nomenclature difference is there or some other difference is also there sir uh, the governor is the constitutional head of the state but uh, lg is not the constitutional head of the state he is in sir i am not able to recall what is the actual nomenclature but uh, he is not the constitutional head of the ut any other difference sir at the moment i am not able to recall no you probably know the answer what sort of states is it random that some states have a governor and other states have lg or is there a pattern to it sir usually ut has lgs and states have governors which states or uts are having governor lg 
sir uh, pondicherry is having uh, delhi is having and andaman and nicobar is having governor lgs andaman and nicobar has, has an lg yes sir are you sure how about chandigarh sir i am not sure about chandigarh i think uh, there is an administrator in chandigarh there is a debate in the country that judges are choosing judges yes sir. and therefore there is also a grievance that the legislature has and the executive have that they have limited say in the appointment of judges what yes. is your opinion on this sir i think that uh, the appointment of judges has to be transparent and uh, there has to be a co collaboration between judiciary executive and legislature on selection of judges that can be uh, done by a modified version of njac which was in 2015 brought out and held un unconstitutional by the 9 uh, by the 99th constitutional amendment act do you think it is the time is right or should we go for implementation of the uniform civil code sir uh, uniform civil codes uh, basically is one of the constitutional duties under article 44 and uh, we have to progressively move move towards it Uh, to judge whether the time is right we have to see uh, how the acceptance is there in the public how we can implement it that is, those are the two funds fronts we have to look and uh, one of the ways to move forward from here is that we can have parliamentary debates we can also discuss it with the civil society we can uh, also start with some of the states like the uttarakhand state has brought a brought a bill to um imply uh, civil uh, the uniform civil code and we can see how those developments are taking place and then we can move forward in that direction what does the uniform civil code primarily talk about sir a uh, uniform civil code basically regulates the civil laws which are there for different communities and it gives an idea that uh, for all the communities for every person every citizen of the nation there should be a uniform uh, civil laws there has been a debate in the country with respect to the hijab laws karnataka high court has upheld that education institutes may ban the hijab in the yes cases. sir what is your opinion on this sir uh, basically the debate was uh, surrounded by that whether someone can practice religious uh, practices in a secular institution and uh, according to my perspective the judgment of the uh, karnataka high court was uh, right in terms that uh, no religious practice should be involved why do you want to join the civil services sir sir uh, my guardian was in the civil services and uh, that was my initial influence towards civil services another factor from uh, my personal opinion is that sir when i see a profession i see two things what i can do to the service at inputs and what the serv what is the outcome of my profession sir inputs as in i will be working at one of the highest levels i will be engaged in diverse field and uh, i will be having some impact in terms of decision making sir output i see that it will be better uh, i will be serving the people and second sir that it will be helpful in the nation building so that's why i want sure, to i have no more questions for you your interview is over okay sir.